This video will cover the topic, finding the roots of a quadratic equation with leading coefficient greater than 1. Let's start with the example problem. 5v squared equals 17v minus 6. Wait, how would we factor this equation? The equation isn't even in standard form. We need to subtract 17v from both sides and also add 6 to both sides so that we can write the quadratic equation in standard form. This will get us our quadratic equation of 5v squared minus 17v plus 6. Oh, alright. Is the process for finding the roots of the quadratic equation any different than when solving similar problems that have a leading coefficient of 1 instead of a leading coefficient greater than 1? Both processes are very similar. The first difference is how we start. We need to multiply our leading coefficient 5 with the coefficient of our constant term, which is 6. This gets us 30. We then need to find which factors of 30 can be added together to get negative 17, the coefficient of our linear term. Once we list out our factors, we can see that the pair that adds up to negative 17 is negative 2 and negative 15. The second difference between this topic and the previous topic is how we factored the quadratic equation. We replace negative 17v with our two factors to get 5v squared minus 15v minus 2v plus 6. We then split the quadratic equation in half and factor the first two linear terms out and the last two linear terms out. This gets us 5v times v minus 3 minus 2 times v minus 3. Notice how both terms share v minus 3. This means that we can factor out v minus 3 from our quadratic equation to get 5v minus 2 times v minus 3. Just as a reminder, a quadratic equation will always have two roots, even if those roots are the same number. Now we solve for what values of v can result in a solution of 0, right? That's correct. We first set both our factors equal to 0. We then solve for v to get our final answer of v equals 2 fifths comma 3. Okay, I think I get it, but let me try to summarize what we did just to make sure. First, if it isn't already, we make sure that our equation is equal to 0. After that, we factor what we have on the left side, or whichever side the 0 is not on. From there we separate our two parentheses and solve for 0 for each of them separately. That sounded great.